Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise, and today I have the latest Kell of a Plan release to share with you. We have two new sticker books, Birthday, Month, Florals, and I Love Winter. These sticker books release on Friday, um, November 8th at 10 a.m. Central. So I want to go through each of them and we are going to be doing a little planning. Now, I was so excited when I opened the package and saw birthday month florals because I didn't know birthday month florals were a thing and I think it's so cool. So we have, did you know that in addition to gemstones, each month has an assigned earth flower. The flower designated to each month usually ties to the season when it blooms. These birth month florals are a great way to plan for birthdays when you don't want to use a traditional birthday theme. So I thought this was so much fun. Now, because I'm not always great at identifying florals, I did pull up a little cheat sheet for myself to be able to go through these. So first up, we have January. So you're going to have the functional boxes here with the monthly, the quarter boxes, bullets, checklists, full boxes, and a short sidebar. And then we have the, oh, it says it here. I missed that. When I was looking, I was like this, but we've got January carnation. Now, from what I did my research on, there are two birth, there are two flowers for each birth month, but it looks like we have one in here, which is probably like the more common one. So then we have February and that is the violet. Now, of course, like I don't, I don't think I have anyone in my life who has a birthday in February that I can think of. So like I might use these any other season because I love violets. These are so pretty. Then we have March and these are daffodils. So this is like a sticker book of florals, but you could tie them to specific months if you wanted to. You could really do it either way. Daisies. So April is the daisy. Typically when I use daisies in my planner, I use them in May because it's Mother's Day and my mom's favorite flower is a daisy. So that's like a perfect example of it. Then we have G uh, May and Lily of the Valley. Really pretty. I feel like this is just like a basic essential sticker book for anyone who likes florals. Then we have June and we have the rose. And I could see myself using these in February. And it these are stickers too, June Rose, if you wanted to include them. Then we have July, which is my birthday. And we have the Larkspur. This is pretty. And this is also Heather's birthday, July. Fun fact, if you are new to my channel, Heather and I are six days apart, same year. She's older. <laughs> She's my older friend, <laughs> all six days between us. Then we have August and we have the oof. I don't know how to say that word. Gla Gladoli Gladolius. Gladolius, I'll say. I could be wrong, but Gladolius. That's a tough one for me. I don't usually have trouble with words, <laughs> but that's a tough one. Now we have September and the Aster. And then October is the Marigold. This is really pretty. I like the note that Heather included about the flower is usually corresponds to the season in which it blooms. Then we have November and the Chrysanthemum really pretty. I can like feel this flower. You know what I mean? Like looking at it, I can feel what the petals feel like. Then we have December and the Narcissus. Narcissus. I feel like it probably is Narcissus, but I'm not entirely sure. These are really pretty. And I wouldn't look at these and think they're a December floral, but I think they're beautiful. And then you have a whole page of these. So actually you have two full pages. What I think would be really fun is to make a page in your planner with all the months 
and list out birthdays. Like you could make a central page for birthdays, which I think is probably what we're going to do today because I didn't realize these, these were included. Typically when the mail arrives with a new Kellogg plant package, I open it up to make sure that everything is in there, nothing is damaged, and then I put it aside until it is time to film because I want to have the same first impressions that you do when you're watching a flip through for the first time. And now we have I Love Winter. I really love a winter themed sticker book because there's plenty of Christmas sticker books and personally I don't celebrate Christmas. There's so many more months of winter and so many things to celebrate and decorate for besides just Christmas and it's really nice to have a sticker book if you are someone who decorates for Christmas. It's nice to have a sticker book that you can open after Christmas ends and you still have a few months before the um, the spring season starts. So we're going to have a similar opening page with double box, full box, quarter box, bullets, and checklists. And then we have the first decorative theme. So some really pretty florals, ice skating, hot chocolate with a deer on them. And then these are the clear stickers. Baby, it's cold outside, pretty snowflakes. And you have two different pages of these design elements. I love the deer with the little heart on its butt. <laughs> Very cute. And then you have the florals that coordinate with some quotes. Appreciate the beauty of a snowflake. Baby, it's cold outside. Winter is my favorite. Now this is a thick book, so it is going to be more expensive. I don't have the price, but it'll be similar to like, I love fall, I love spring, I love summer. Then we have the next set, pretty colors, and we have a pretty snow globe. I've said pretty a lot, I'll try not to. Um, a cute little banner here. This banner reminds me of like the old washi banners back in the day of planning. Really pretty. I love the tea and the book, the knit hat. So much fun. I like that. And then really beautiful florals. The first snow of winter is full of magic. Winter is a season of preparation. Winter is the time for home. Yes, indeed. And then the next set, and we have some glitter here, like not real glitter, but printed glitter and the flowers. And then you have this like teal and beige scene. I love this. I just wanna stay inside and read. Favorite winter activity, getting cozy. <laughs> so I really like this. It's kind of like glam cozy. It's really cute and like indoor scenes. I like this with the chair and the lamp and the pillows and then the flowers. Winter can be beautiful and peaceful. Winter forms our character and brings our out our best. Next set, we have the navy and the pink. I smell snow. Those of you who live in areas where it's snow, you can like smell it before it comes. You know, like when you walk outside and you just like, it's so hard to describe. I feel like it almost smells like an ice cube, which kind of has no smell, but it's just that extra coldness that you can tell. It smells like it's going to snow. So a lot of snuggly vibes in this sticker book, and I'm here for it. Cute little dog. And then these florals are so pretty. I pray this winter be gentle and kind, a season of rest from the busy life. The first snow reminds us that things can still feel new again and welcome winter. I think that that's one thing I'm looking forward to about winter, if there is one thing, is just the the kind of quiet that comes, right? There aren't so many activities because I live, I live in New Jersey. It is cold outside. There's a lot of snow and sometimes you're just forced to stay in and I enjoy that. So now we have a little snowman, a little gingerbread. This almost has like, could have Christmas vibes if you wanted to do kind of like a different style um, because we have the gingerbread man, but it doesn't have to be if you don't want that. Cute. And the florals, the blue and pink is really fun. If you know someone doing a gender reveal in the winter, you could use these, that would be fun. We go together like winter in sweaters. The cold never bothered me anyway. Beautiful, but oh so cold. 
Next up, it is New Year's. I love seeing the New Year's stickers that come out each year because it's what my planner will look like bringing in, ringing in the new year. So we have the disco ball, little firecrackers, the clock, happy new year, kind of like a retro style new year, which is really cute. I love even like the dog balloon <laughs> animal. And then some groovy new year stickers. Bet we can guess what this is. Valentine's Day. Pretty. So you have the truck full of roses and the balloons, the donuts. I'm actually like excited for Valentine's Day this year because, or in 2025, because it'll sort of be my first one with James. We met in January last year and we were both pretty smitten right away. And he did bring me um, flowers after Valentine's Day because on Valentine's Day, I was babysitting my niece and nephew. So uh, my brother is going to have to find a new babysitter for next year because I think I'm done with the Valentine's um, babysitting. But th this is really beautiful. I hope it's okay if I love you forever. To love and be loved is the greatest gift of all. Where there is love, there is life. Then we have a snowman and gifts and a little gnome. <laughs> Cute. I like the blues and greens here really pretty colors and the snowflakes so again like very heavy winter themes here because the sticker book is I love winter winter is not a season winter is a celebration to appreciate the beauty of a snowflake it is necessary to stand out in the cold even the strongest blizzards start with a single snowflake next up we are going a little bit more muted and we are back into cozy vibes we are bundling up a little, but then when we're inside, we are in, we are knitting and in cozy, comfy clothes, which is my favorite. It's under a blanket. I like the snowflakes and the flower combinations here. Dream away the cold. Winter, I pray this winter be gentle and kind, a season of rest for my state of mind. No winter lasts forever. And then maybe the final set. I think we have two more. And just some fun winter themes, winter flame, some nail polish, a mug, we've got a, I think that's a Nintendo Switch, and a cozy dog, and two pages of this. And then, oh, these are cool flowers. Winter is a time of renewal when snow falls, winter listens. These are really cool. They're very different. So I love this sticker book. I don't think I read the back. Winter is one of my favorite seasons. The cold weather makes it the best time to cuddle up inside and rest. I hope these winter illustration and floral stickers help you to plan a life you love this winter. XO, XO, Heather. Now let's do some planning. All right, I have a different manicure <laughs> from the first half of this video. Sometimes videos don't all get filmed in one shot and sometimes manicures change <laughs> in between them. So I wanted to set up a page in my planner using the birthday month florals and what we're going to do i'm assuming these are in order right yeah okay i want to start by putting these down wait a second here are 12 months you know what i can use as a good reference these okay yes they are correct so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the bottom because I want to kind of be mindful of my spacing going from bottom to top. And sometimes it's just easier to do it this way. And then we're going to do October. I'm gonna do like a slight layering, but I don't wanna cover up any of the box because the white space in the box is a little bit more limited with the, um, it's December, December, with the flower being in there. So, oops. Whenever I lift up a sticker, but I don't actually get it in my hand, it makes me think of like 
when I'm eating something with a fork, typically a salad, and I just miss. <laughs> and like, I don't realize, usually I'm talking to someone or I'm watching TV or something, and I get it and I put it in my mouth and it's empty. It's like, um, December. We need, we're going backwards here. It's a little harder. September, August, and July. It's up here. And we need June. Trying to line these up nicely. June, May, and April. And this is the perfect kind of page to put in your 2025 planner or really just any planner moving forward because birthdays don't change. June. May and April. And then we need March. Now the reason I wanted to start from the bottom was because I wanted space at the top to title this. And I knew I would have a hard time kind of measuring that out without starting this way. But we got them down. Oh, this needs to be shifted down just a little bit. Okay, March, February, and January. All right, now I thought that I would take Calva Plans Alpha Basics Volume 2 and list and just title this with birthdays b-i-r-t-h-d-a-y-s nine letters in birthdays which means b-i-r-t-h the h has to be in the middle of the page h when i don't use a ruler that's how i kind of do the centering is just counting, figuring out where the middle needs to be, and sort of eyeballing it. Y and S. Oops. B I R T. I don't know why I go right once I do this. I feel like I should just start left, but I don't know. B I R. And then cute. Okay. Now my next thought was to take one of the newer Calvin Plan sticker book dots and checklists because we have so many different color dots here. And what you could do with these is slice them to be a little bit smaller to make room. So which pink? I think it's the second pink. So you could do them like a slice and a half like that. And then I don't think I, there we go. I don't think I chose the exact right pink there, but pretty close. And then going through this way. Um, I don't actually think I have any family birthdays in February. So we're going to shift over to March. And for the March, I think maybe this lighter color. I feel like this looks a little bit brighter, but we're going to start from the bottom because I think it's just easier. And let's put this up. Okay. Like that. And then what I was thinking I would do is take a pen and 
do like my family members' birthdays here. Like that. Now for a month where the flower is on the left side, what I would do, let's go to April. And then I don't think we're gonna fill every single one of these out. I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of an example of how I would get this set up. But I don't know that you wanna watch me like fill out all of my relatives <laughs> and loved ones birthdays. But for April, now I actually, it, it kind of works out in April because I do only have one birthday and that's James. I have my grandmother's, but she's no longer with us. And for a page like this, I don't know that I would include that. For, um, let me show you October because, well, actually I'll show you August. Because August is where space might get a little bit challenging. So I want to show how I'm going to kind of combat that. And I think we're gonna go for this pink this time. And I need a few of these. So I'm gonna put one, oh wait, no, August isn't because I can go all the way down this way, which would be a month that might be more difficult. Um, October. That's a good one. So October, sorry, coffee hasn't fully kicked in yet. So <laughs> I didn't have all the, all the right answers yet this morning. It takes a sec to get there. Um, I think that maybe this aren't, it's not perfect, but it's gonna be close. And you can see how cutting these definitely gives you more space to be able to write with these bullets. So for October, I would put one bullet on the left side and then the others on the right. And then going in order here, um, And then the first, a new birthday is my best friend's baby, Max. And then I'd write, uh, mom. So just kind of shifting them, like justified left and justified right, I think would make sense. If you really needed the full amount of room in the boxes, what you could do is just cut out one of these flowers. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any month that I would really need to, but like I have a lot of birthdays in my life in June. I also have my aunt, which I didn't include there, but um, to June I could, but really what I would do is just kind of slice here do that. So that is a birthday page, getting my planner ready for 2025. Now, I also wanted to share with you a spread using I Love Winter. I thought that these flowers from I Love Winter are really pretty because we don't often see a lot of like wintry florals and I like these. So Use my tweezer to get this up. I think we'll maybe start right at the top, which I don't often do. And then let's put one down at, sorry, it just moved. Down at the bottom. Back in the day, I used to like put a little bit of sticky underneath the page so they wouldn't move off frame, like on camera. However, I move the pages so much intentionally that I don't think that would work anymore. But 
I think as long as I'm mindful of it. You get the idea, right? Now, this launch is on Friday at um, 10 a.m. Central. I will say that oh, I went too high on those. I will 10 a.m. Central. I will be landing in Chicago at 9.44 a.m. Central. So typically I share an Instagram story when things go live. Just, you know, as a reminder, I don't know that I'm going to be able to this time, but I do always post over on YouTube community um, and uh, different areas. So if you are shopping, being mindful to, to look for my link is always helpful because I typically am like available when there's a launch happening. But because of the Chicago Planner Conference this time, I will not be. Luckily, I'm not on a plane. I have been on a plane during launches before. This time, we will not be on a plane. All right, then I wanted to cover this line up. I probably should have done it before I put the sticker down because now I'm kind of like going over the sticker a little bit. And we're going to use maybe like this big cozy chair here. Not to scale <laughs> with the fireplace and the chair next to each other. But let's cover up the line. I'm using a Uniball Signo pen here. Um, I've had a question recently about how I get the pen to not dry out. And my pen doesn't typically dry out when I keep the cap on. However, sometimes it gunks at the top and that dries. So just kind of like cleaning it off like quickly before using it helps. Okay, now, oh, there's some other cute scenes over here. I could have used one of those bigger ones instead of this, but that is all right. Okay, now let's put this box here since that fireplace didn't fully cover this section. And I'm going to put this right there. And then just cover here. We're still going to have a little bit more space at the top here. But we can add in a floral. I got that a little wrinkled. The pressing helps. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now let's continue with like the actual planning elements for this. So I like a decorative box over here on the side. I don't often use these decorative boxes, but I think that it would be really cute to put right here. And then, oh, but then we have this one here. Um, maybe we switch her. Whoops. Oh my goodness. I don't usually rip the sticker like that. I usually rip the back of the page. Okay. We might be able to save her. Let's try the hot cocoa mugs. I wanted to move it because I didn't want the blue background sticker next to the blue box like that. And then we can take one of these and I'm like, I'm, I'm indecisive right now. I want to pull out dots and checklists for a second because there's more of these. This is what I love about this sticker book is that it kind of has those supplementary stickers in so many different colors if there aren't enough checklists in the sticker book that you're using. All right, that's cute. And then we can bring her in right over here. And let's use, oops, that one came down. Um, this one, I think we're just gonna kind of do like a little box scene. Get back 
to this page. When I'm in the back of a sticker book, it tends to flip up, so I have to use like my arms to keep it down. And now let's take another one of these blue boxes this year. I am gonna dress up these boxes. They're not gonna stay like as they are. Move you over, go to the right side, and I wanna bring in this brown. Actually, maybe I wanna go shorter with the brown. We can do maybe a double box. Oh wait, we have a little bit of a thing here. So I think what we're actually gonna do, okay, I made up my mind. Took me a sec to get there because I put the double box where it is. So now I kind of wanna continue the boxes down here and move the checklist to the top. So we need another blue one. I'm gonna go for the lighter blue because I haven't used that on the right side yet. But then where am I gonna put flowers? We'll have to figure that out. Um, we need a checklist here. And then we need another blue one. And let me pause for a sec before I like go full blown with all these. So I said I wanted to bring in some more flowers. There's a lot of stickers in this sticker book because I could probably do like three spreads with these. I'd like to take a bigger floral and I think we're going to cut it. There we go, looking for my scissors. And we're just gonna kind of add this in right here, but I need to cover up the line as usual. I've been working really, really hard to get my videos filmed prior to going to Chicago and also like as many videos as I can that are the week I come back from Chicago because I wanna make sure that there is still content up on my channel while I'm away, which I typically always try to do when I'm going away. It just means a little bit of <laughs> extra work early mornings beforehand. It's been a little bit more complicated this year with so many weekend plans and, and fun life things, but it's doable and it's worth it. All right, now let's take the little hot cocoa and I think this would be cute. I keep getting, that'll be fine because it's white. Let's kind of put that as a corner right there. I think that's cute. Now, um, over here, let's talk about, now that we've got the floral in, we need some more checklists. So here I can put, mm, the bottom checklist is going to be a little hard. So we're going to go a little bit shorter with this one. Because it would be hard to write if I put that there. And then we need one more teal one. So I'm going to go back to dots and checklists. And let's go for this one. It's a good match, but we'll need to color it or cu uh, cut it. And this one, oh, this is what happens when you put stickers. When you put your planner pages upside down, you put the stickers on the wrong side of the page. 
I do find checklist stickers easier to move than other stickers, so I wasn't worried about ripping there. All right. Cute. Now, there are some quotes in here, so I think it would be cute to include the mugs, the hot cocoa mugs. Be like right over here. And now the fact that I covered too high isn't as big of a deal because we're covering more. And we're going to take the quote, favorite winter activity, getting cozy. All right, now I did pull out whoops, these stickers before, so I do want to make use of them. So we're going to put one over here. I'm gonna cover up the note. I love a good sidebar stack. One here, and then one more right down here for anything. It can be goals of the week. It can be three reminders for the week. But I think that this came out, whoops, really cute. So we have I Love Winter and Birthday Month Florals. I think that these are both really fun sticker books. And I love that one of them isn't seasonal if you're not really a seasonal planner, decorator. This is just a great sticker book to have because the florals are beautiful and you can decorate in a different way using birthday months. Um, these sticker books release on Friday, November 8th at 10 a.m. Central. I do have a Caliplan affiliate link. Caliplan does not have discount code, so I don't have a code for you, but I do have a link. So if you are shopping, using my link is always helpful because um, I earn a commission on the order and it shows brands that you are interested in what I'm sharing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.